everybody, this is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Today we're talking about the spice, cumin. I've got some interesting information about cumin and the history of it as well. So I hope you find this interesting. Cumin is the world's second most popular spice, only second to black pepper. The spice is native to the Mediterranean region. It's been grown in the Middle East, India, China, and the Mediterranean region for actually thousands of years. And throughout history, cumin has played an important role in the cuisines and medicine of the people in that part of the world. During biblical times, cumin was also used as a spice in soup and in bread, and it was also used as currency. Ancient Egyptians even have used cumin in the mummification process of their pharaohs. So this spice has been highly prized for thousands of years. Ancient Greeks and Romans used cumin as a culinary spice, especially since it was readily available. They would often use it as a substitute for black pepper, which was very expensive and hard to come by. Cumin was commonly used in Europe in the Middle Ages and it was known as a symbol of love and fidelity. People would carry cumin seeds with them to weddings and wives would often send loaves of cumin bread along with their husbands who were going off to wars. So this was a very prized spice throughout history. Now, cumin seeds look similar to caraway seeds. They're yellow-brown and they're oblong with long ridges in them. They're in the same botanical family as caraway, parsley, and dill. It has a strong earthy flavor that's described as peppery with a slight citrus undertones to it. And it, we can buy it in both the whole seeds and a ground powder. We also know that the seeds come in brown, black, and white colors. So if you're ever wondering a little bit of interesting information about cumin, share this video with others. This is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Bye for now.